So hello everyone, in this episode I'm gonna show you how to create a water puddles on the road. And for that reason I just uh, choose this image which will work as a reference of what we have to create in, in our image and as final result is what we have produced for a client in a series of exterior reviews for his project and as you see the road has a pretty photorealistic look with uh, water puddles in it with a nice reflection and the bump and all the rest which I would like to show you right now and we're gonna run pretty quick within uh, 14 minutes which is quite normal workflow in our daily stage of creating nice 3D visualization images and first I need to pick up a favor road texture image of a road from above which I choose from cjtexture.com and this is what I pick up but first let's uh, go to 3d max and isolate the road model and by using unwrap modificator and open UV editor by going into tools and render UFVs we just need to type the measure of the image which we need of our road and that thing we need for uh, selecting the right portals of and right shapes of the road so as you see by inverting because it was black as I saved and I have nice clean uh, shapes of the road and by importing of the texture of the road just need to pick up by pressing ctrl and the mouse on the shape of the road and choosing a mask now I have a mask down below on my road texture and I just need to adjust a bit on the right corners of the road my image texture and to have it in a flavor position so and just we need to make a couple of copies of same on the right size Don't worry that something of your images doesn't fit at the first moment, but uh, I'm gonna show you right now how to you can fix all the mistakes and all the connection and the gaps on your image. That thing is easy to be cleared in Photoshop, as you know. I am not stopping now on some simple tools I'm gonna use but that one is pretty useful puppet warp by uh, converting linear images in uh, shapes you would like to have with nice curved shapes and continuing with the stamp tool and if you know how to use it but I just gonna remain a quick with by pressing alt you am gonna select the area you would like to copy and to bring on to your gaps after that and you see the cross running after my brush is the area I'm selecting actually and bringing above the places I 
like to fix and we are almost done with the nice rolled texture what we are gonna use after in the 3D Studio Max again now is the time for creating the water puddles areas and uh, because I'm running pretty quick with the previews of how you can repeat and create the same that for that reason uh, I'm uh, showing you the rough techniques you can use and of course assume it or choose another brushes or better tools if you know but I'm showing you how I'm doing this with really 10 minutes until the deadline which is pretty normal in our daily workflow so I just need to bring over the places of our water bottles by using brush and some of the flavor shapes of the brush color it above and brush it more and further until we're happy with the result and actually the first image of the raw texture what we produce we gonna use for our uh, diffuse map in our V-Ray material slot and the water puddles and the black flags actually what we're producing now we're gonna use when we are compositing the rest of the material with the reflection and opacity and the glossiness and that's why we created all the black flakes with the brush on empty and new layer as you see now we have all the water bottles on the right places let's go back to 3d max and with the help of uh, UVV map modificator I'm adjusting the right size of the texture on my road model so let's say we gonna we have fixed it now and we going further with material compositing so I think it's pretty fitted now and let's jump to simple V-Ray material and I'm using the diffuse what we created previous in Photoshop as same as the bump and also you can use again into the glossiness slot and refreshing as well and you need, just need to play a little bit with the numbers until you get the final result of what you would like to have as material for your road basic texture and this is the first thing what we created actually this is the raw texture what we created and let's say we are happy with the result till now let's go further with creating a more a bit complicated material by changing and using the V-Ray plant material let's use the base of the blend material what we have on in reality actually this is the raw texture and as a code material we can bring our water puddles texture I made a copy of the basic material and I'm gonna just a bit until we are getting the result so in the diffuse map I'm gonna use now the black flags what we 
drawn the previous with the Photoshop and let's make a quick test of how it will look now and do we have the flags on the right sizes of our road so as you see the white flags are showing us the places of the water puddles which will appear in the future of course it doesn't have any options it's just a simple flake and we need to bring uh, water effects on it by playing with the reflection and glossiness of course you can bring on the bump slot a noisy map what we are using normally for creating a water texture and let's make a quick test preview again of what we're producing till we're getting the satisfied result so as you see when we're playing a bit with a reflection and glossiness we are getting slowly to the result of our task let's change the diffuse map with the same texture what we created for a road just a bit darker and also you can bring a bit more noise in a photoshop for making more realistic water results on the rest of the road not only in the places of the puddles let's bring it in a new layer and play with opacity until we get similar result what I'm showing you right now on the Photoshop so I think that will work perfectly for what I need into my scene and let's save it in another image which I'm gonna use again in a Photoshop and this is what appears now after our cup of test and I think we are pretty close to the end result and I repeat again you just need to play a little bit with the reflection of the flakes and the black flakes what we painted earlier in Photoshop you need to put on the opacity slot of the, your V-Ray material using blend V-Ray blend material you can create much more complicated material with a lot of options on it and as you see I am continue playing with the diffuse map and also you can try to bring some dirt on the corners of your road by using the materials in an unocclusion area and playing a bit with the numbers of your V-Ray dart and with simple tests again and again until you're getting your final result so if you have any questions about this tutorial so please feel free to ask me anytime and I would like I would reply always on your questions and if you don't have something clear on what we're producing now send me a simple message and definitely I'm gonna reply so stay tuned and be friend of 3D School Online. So thanks for watching.